Hi, I'm Dave Blake from EGD, and today we're going to be going through the programming and the diagnostics on the NICE MC824H. That's this panel right here. Uh, this is the MCA1 version of this panel, um, which was released in 2018, and uh, so it will look slightly different to its predecessor. But the MC824H uh, is their 24 volt uh, control panel, uh, which is suitable for their 24 volt motors with built in encoders. So first off, we're going to go through the inputs and outputs and a bit of the layout on the uh, control panel itself. First off, we've got the inputs down the left-hand side here. Uh, so going from the top, we've got close, open, and SBS. Now these are command inputs, so these will control the gate, gate's operation. Uh, close will uh, do a movement of close, stop, close. Open will do a movement of open, stop, open. And SBS, which is reference for step-by-step, -step, will do open, stop, close, stop. So that's the com command inputs. The input below that is the stop input. And as you'll see on the left, on, on the right-hand side here, uh, the uh, variations of types of inputs that the stop can monitor. So it can monitor normally open, normally closed, or resistive technology. So for your safety edges, they can be wi hardwired directly straight into the stop input. In fact, the 8.2K ohms on the uh, hardwired safety edge can be doubled, um, so it would half the resistance value. Um, so you could essentially have two end-of-line safety edges wired into the one stop input, and it will monitor at 4.1K ohms. The input just below that uh, is labeled blue bus. Uh, so if you're familiar with the NICE control panels, you may have heard that term floating around. Uh, Blue bus uh, references the uh, type of device. So it's a bus type circuit, so two wire in parallel. Um, but there are various Blue bus devices available. So the one, kit, uh, the one device you'll get in your kit will be the Blue bus photocells. So they're, again, two wire photocells. So you can either take a wire from cell to cell, or you can take a, a cable from each photocell straight back into this Blue bus input. Uh, on the bottom here, we've got another antenna input. So if the range is limited on the radio receiver that's uh, in your kit and you want to try and boost that range, uh, you can do so with a 433 MHz tuned antenna in here. Uh, the other connections you'll see on the board here are the motor connections at the bottom. So motor connections on the right-hand side here. But you'll also see you've got encoder connections here. Uh, so you will need a 5-core cable, 5-core flex to each of the motors. Um, the encoding connections must be connected, you cannot bypass them. Um, and the uh, motor connections are uh, polarity sensitive, so you've got positive and negative, uh, but that positive and negative just simply directs the uh, change of the direction of the motor. Because uh, most the motors that are supplied in the kit, they're not handed, so if you start seeing it going in the wrong direction or if it's operating with the wrong logic, then you may need to reverse a positive and negative. Um, the other connections here we've got are the outputs. So we've got OGI, which is a courtesy lamp output, which is like a timed output uh, for, for a set period whilst the gates are opening. ELS, which is the electric like or electric strike, uh, that sends a momentary 12 volt pulse uh, as the gates are beginning, or just before the gates begin to open. And then you've got the flashing lamp output here, which again is low voltage and uh, that's compatible with the MLBT uh, flashing lamp that's nice supply. So that's the main inputs and outputs on this control panel. The other section that you will need to uh, acknowledge is this bank of dip switches down the left-hand side here. This bank of dip switches uh, adjusts the motor selection for the encoder type that's in the, in the motor. So it adjusts how many pulses are needed uh, to be sent to that, to that particular motor. So at the moment, we've got this set up on a nice metro motor, uh, the underground, which is dip switch 2 selection. Um, but reference the manual to, to find out which dip switch selection you need to, to set uh, uh, for the motor type that you're installing. And so you'll only, you should only ever have one dip switch switched over to the left. If you haven't got any dip switches set over to the left, um, then it won't allow you to program the limits correctly. If you've got more than just the one dip switch set over to the left, again, it will prevent you from learning the limits correctly. So that's the, the main inputs and outputs. If you want to get in touch with us with any specific requests or technical requests, 
please contact us on the details below. Uh, don't forget to follow us on our social media as well uh, for the latest in industry news and latest offers.